The current site of Coal Creek Golf Resort has had coal mining activity since the turn of the 19th century. This activity has left scars from the early year mining practices. The result of this provides the unique landscape for holes 7, 8, 9, 12, and 13, which play in and around the remaining mining equipment. All of the bodies of water that come into play on these holes are the original pits. You are truly playing through coal mining history. Certainly a unique property. Uh, it's a reclamation from a coal mine uh, that's been mined for over 50 years and the family that owns the coal mine actually uh, decided to turn it into a golf course. We started construction in 2007 and opened on 18 holes this spring in June. And uh, yeah, so far it's been a great success. Most of the coal in this part of the world is, uh, is very shallow and it's strip mined. Uh, that's uh, what this property was. It was a, a strip mining operation. Uh, so most of the pits were uh, probably a maximum depth of 30 feet, which uh, boded well to, to turning it into a golf course. We have lots of undulation change, um, which is not very typical in that area. Uh, it's mostly flat farmland. They certainly wanted to carry on with some coal mining history into the golf course. So they decided to leave some artifacts that were previously part of the coal mine. Uh, yeah, we have a, a tipple that was built in the 1930s that uh, is the backdrop of our ninth green, as well as a, a scraper that was left out on the property and a, and a cat that happened to die on the, on the property. We stripped the engines out and uh, there it sits. In addition to the mining equipment on the course, Coal Creek also features unique black bunkers. It's actually not sand, it's, uh, it's a slag from a copper mine and we bring it in from the west coast of Canada. Uh, it plays very well, it's a little bit denser than, than typical sand. Um, but yeah, we get a, a ton of comments on it. I mean, it's, it was brought in um, to emulate coal. Uh, obviously coal wouldn't work as, as, a, as a sand for our bunkers, but uh, no, we're very happy with, with how it plays and, and definitely the contrast that it gives on the golf course. In parts of Canada, it is common to have bluegrass fairways. Zelinsky gave some insight into this practice. Well, I think it's basically just our climate up here. Uh, you know, we have long cold winters. Uh, bluegrass seems to, to handle the cold the best for, for our climate. Bankgrass fairways aren't typically grown in Alberta. Our tees and our fairways are bluegrass as well as our intermediate rough. Um, we have a fescue blend, fescue uh, and uh, wheatgrass blend for our uh, native areas. And our greens are 50% uh, A1, 50% A4 bankgrass. During growing, our fertility was a little bit higher. We were uh, mainly granular through the growing. And uh, now this summer I've switched to, uh, to a foliar program. Put down between three and a half and four pounds of nitrogen uh, every year. Yeah, we just spoon feed them. Our soils are very high in sodium. Um, we do a lot of aerification in the summertime, um, along with leaching, lots of calcium treatments, uh, uh, just to keep the sodium in check. I try to verticut and top dress uh, on a two week schedule. We roll once a week. On my greens, it's, it's deep and infrequent uh, as much as possible. We've had a hot summer this, uh, this year, so uh, uh, the watering was a little bit more than, than typical. Um, uh, just to touch on the, our, our water that we use, uh, it's predominantly runoff, but we actually uh, have put a pipeline in from the new coal mine, which is four miles down the road. Uh, they're mining in a very wet area where they need to dewater constantly, so we get a constant supply of, of fairly fresh water that for the area is actually of, of pretty, de pretty decent quality. When asked why he chose A1A4 for Cold Creek, Zelinsky credits the consistent playability. This is the second growing that I've done. Uh, previously, I was at a, 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 another course just down the road that we seeded to A1A4 as well. Uh, loved it, and that's why we made the decision to, to use the same type of grass. 
Uh, just the ease of maintenance. I mean, you can do as little or as much to it as you want, and uh, it seems like it always plays perfectly.